How's it going everybody? This is Alakai here. We've got uh, five boosters of the Uncanny X-Men Dice Masters game. We're going to go ahead and open them up as part of our new channel. Let's see what we get. Hopefully pull some rares. Uh oh. Looks pretty good. Ant-Man! And we have Recruiting Your Mutants, really powerful card. At the end of the video, we'll go ahead and discuss uh, one of the cards. Talk about second pack. What do we got here? We have the rare Spider-Man Spidey Sense. Spider-Man takes half damage and it is rare. Oh, here we go, another Spider-Man. Spider-Man Hero for Hire. It is the common. So pretty good pulls so far. Just uh, already got our rare. And open the second, third one. Sorry. Never seen these dice before. Oh, great. That's exactly what I was looking for right there. Namor, Imperius Rex. And again, it is a rare. If Namor is the only character in your field at the end of an, any turn, field up to two sidekick dice from your use pile or prep area. Spin them to their character face. That is an awesome card. And then we get Toad, Tongue Lashing. That's a common. Fourth pack. Let's see what we get. That looks like Psylocke, right? It is. So we have two commons here. It is Cerebro Cybernetic Intelligence and Psylocke Betsy Braddock. And the fifth pack. Sabretooth. Something to prove. It is a common. At the beginning of your turn, spin each of your saber tooth dice up one level. Very nice. And we have another common here. Pyro, Saint John Allardyce. Allardyce. When Pyro is blocked, he deals one damage to your opponent. Not bad. So some of you might have uh, heard already, I am kind of new to the game, so I'm just learning here. Seems like we have got some pretty powerful cards. I'm just going to go ahead and discuss one of them. Um, in... Hey everybody, so I am back. Let's take a look at one of those cards we pulled from the pack. Um, I really chose something that is uh, really interesting to me. It is Professor X. Now it's just a common, but I think that you're going to see a lot of these played. Professor X recruiting young mutants. Uh, it's a six with a mask energy. He's an X-Men. And his ability is, when fielded, search your bag for up to two sidekick dice and roll them. But that's not the reason why you normally play him, I think. It is because of his global. Pay a mask. Move up to two sidekick dice from your use pile to your prep area. Up to two. So... It's pretty interesting. Um, I thought that uh, I'd try to see if I can figure out how this thing works. I've read a couple of forums and I don't think it's too difficult, so let's try to give it a try here. So we have uh, Professor X and we're going to bring in somebody like uh, the Black Widow, uh, Serena. I was lucky enough to pull her. Um, she's an Avenger with two and a fist. So we're going to pretend like it's our first roll of the game. We have our four dice here. We're just going to go ahead and roll, and we see we have two fists, we have a bolt, and we have a question mark. So, how do we go about playing this? Well, I would probably take the two fist energy here, and place in the used. I go ahead and bring in Serena, put in the used. I would probably bank these two. The reason for it is I would turn the question mark into a mask energy, and... Put it in the use pile, take my two uh, sidekick dice from the use pile and put it into the prep area for the next turn. Boom. Um, and then we just go throughout the turn. That's going to expire my next upkeep. And so then going into my bag, 
Got my next four dice. Got two more dice here for a total of six dice. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that. And all of a sudden we have two sidekicks, fist, question mark, a mask, and a shield. Well, that's not too bad because we're gonna be able to fend off any attackers that get onto the field from our uh, our opponent. But what can we do here with this? Well, I'd probably do something along the lines of probably buy another Black Widow um, if I wanted to. I could even buy a Beast um, by just switching up like whoops, switching up like one of these. And let's just pretend to go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and take the two. We're gonna spend our mask and our fist energy and put it to the use pile. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a beast die. I don't have one with me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. Use pile. Question mark. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and drop it into our used and we're going to go ahead and take two and put in the prep now that's if we wanted to have two two uh creatures on the field there for our next turn now if not what we'd want to do is we want to go ahead and see if we can't not use beast and take that other mask energy and see if we can't grab four and put it to the prep area for our next turn and the next turn is going to then be two in we have a high chance of of course getting black widow for for hitting and we can move on from there so I'm pretty sure that's how everybody's using this. Again, I'm not, uh, I haven't been playing very long. So if I'm incorrect in some of the things I'm doing here, apologies and uh, hope to learn. So uh, we'll be back next time with uh, five more Cracker Packs and we're gonna go ahead and choose a card and try to talk about it, show some examples. Thank you all, bye.